how to change the post column filter. Step 1. Locate the filter. When experiencing pressure, noise, or drifting issues, the best place to start is to replace the post column filter. Remember to turn the flow off before you start and to turn the DC power on the TDA off before opening the unit. For the 270 model, the filter is located along the tubing outside of the unit. Once you have opened the TDA, you will find the post column filter in a clamp on the refractive index and light scattering side of the TDA module. To remove the filter from the clamp, gently slide the filter toward the back of the unit. Once removed, place the filter on top of the module. Step 2. Disconnect the filter. Using a quarter inch wrench, unhook both the inlet and outlet lines to the filter housing unit. Remember that the flow should already be off, so there should be no solvent leaks. The tools required to open the housing unit and replace the filter membrane include two wrenches, two new frits, two new Teflon O-rings, one new filter membrane, and a syringe to help remove the old filter. Step 3. Open the filter housing. Using the wrenches, unscrew the two exterior housing components. Step 4. Remove old fritz and filter membrane. Use the syringe to pop out the old fritz and filter membrane. Additional tools, such as a screwdriver, may be helpful in removing the old contents. The dirty filter will generally appear discolored and may even have a layer of solid material collected on it. The new filter should be clean and smooth. Step 5. Replace the filter components. On a flat surface, place the new frit inside a new o-ring and push it into place until it snaps. Flip the pieces over to make sure that they're secure. Then, place this piece into the filter housing unit and use the smallest housing piece to push it into place. Next, place the filter membrane in the housing unit and use the smallest housing piece to gently push that into place. Repeat this process with the second frit and o-ring. Step 6. Reassemble the filter housing. Step 7. Reconnect the filter. Using the flow direction marker, connect the inlet line to the filter. Then, turn on the flow rate and wait for solvent to elute from the filter before connecting the outlet line. This will minimize the amount of air introduced into your system. Step 8. Replace the filter in the clamp. Step 9. Replace the module. Once you have replaced the module back in the chassis and made sure it fits securely, then turn the power back on and you're ready to go.